Good morning, guys. I wanted to shoot a quick video for you on showing you what I like to use for an alternative to magic erasers. There are some cir circumstances where I do find a magic eraser is very effective. Um, if you're using, you know, a hard plastic substrate such as this, or when you're, you know, doing these plastic moldings where you step in, they are extremely effective. But a lot of times, you know, guys will say, oh, it's safe to use it on seats like this or even on the vinyl flooring. And while that may be true in certain circumstances, certain chemicals and a, and a light touch, um, I wanted to present to you an alternative to the Magic Eraser that I find works equally as well, but isn't as damaging. And uh, forgive me, it might be a little soiled because I use these a lot. But these are the Nano Skin Scrub Sponges. You can buy them on Amazon. I think they are like $10 for a four pack, um, but they are reusable. And what I like about them is, you know, they're safe for you to use on surfaces such as this. You can use it on leather. Um, this isn't really leather. This is just the coated plastic that's supposed to make you look fancy in a work truck, but you can use it on these floors. And then I like, because it has the sponge on the back, you can kind of mop up afterwards. But I just wanted to share with you guys that quick little tip, you know, a detailer is only as good as kind of technique, but also you want to have the right tools within your arsenal. Sometimes you want to have a multitude of brushes just to say magic eraser and you know one detail brush. I have probably within 20 to 30 different types of brushes, anywhere from old toothbrushes, cotton swabs. Um, I, I'll share with you another uh, detailing brush that I really enjoy. I bought this on Amazon. I don't even remember the name of it. I'll try to find the the link to it and put it down below in the video but this is awesome like if you're doing cup holders especially and you always get that really sticky stuff stuck in there um, this is really great for kind of I don't want it being it's a little bit more aggressive you wouldn't want to use this on uh, sensitive surfaces but this is a phenomenal brush because it's the two-in-one you do have the soft brush here if you need a little bit of a lighter touch like if you're working on a steering wheel or something like that but on a surface that can take a little bit more abuse even if it's like down in here in these grooves and you've got something stuck in there you can hear how abrasive that is but it is so effective at getting into those tight spaces even here you can see we've got some stuck on stuff and it really does a great job. Obviously, this substrate, this surface can handle a little bit more of an aggressive brush. But, you know, I use these mother's detailing brushes. I'll use these a lot for when I'm going, you know, carpets. If I'm getting in here, imagine this is a carpet surface. These are great for that. Or if I'm doing, you know, kind of these, um, what are these, the, the metal mounts for the, the seat. And then uh, Darren over at AutoFed has turned me on to these brushes. I'll use these a lot of times for getting into door jams, getting into some of these tighter spaces here. And obviously, Magic Eraser. Now I do have this soaking in water to soften it, and then I will use it on surfaces such as this. Mind you, being mindful, I mean, look at that. Just one little brush, no chemicals even, and it's clean. So it does have its place. It does have its role. And I'm gonna be able to knock this entire interior out you know, with just these chemicals here, we're going to be using McKees 37 leather shampoo. Mind you, this probably isn't even leather. It's just coated plastic, but I'm going to use something that's going to be a safe cleaner and also put down some sort of moisturizer so that the seats don't dry out. Sprayway glass cleaner. It is the bomb when it comes to cleaning glass. We've got our two towel microfiber method here. We've got a multitude of interior uh, microfibers, and then we've got our VLR brush for the plastic leather pleather whatever seats this is in case I need you know something a little bit more gray so this is like a Adobe pad or something you buy at Walmart and then these are the other chemicals we've got f-bomb here we've got hyper dressing and express spray wax we're gonna use this for the vinyl floors here express spray wax for door jams and then this is gonna be my cleaner for every surface in here that's plastic um, the customer I believe is a smoker so I'm going to use something a little bit more powerful, but it's not going to stain it or damage it. Um, I, I find that I'm gravitating more towards F-Bomb than any other APC that I have. Um, it's just, it's safer and it's super effective. You can use it on tires, you can use it for a pre-soak to remove road film. Um, it's, it's one of the best, you know, bang for your buck chemicals out there. So if you guys haven't tried it, you know, definitely check out. It's ADG American Detail Garage f-bomb a uh, phenomenal product so anyways this is a little bit longer than i wanted to take but i just wanted to share with you guys 
you know, the, the tips and tools that I use that, you know, are safe and effective. Um, you know, obviously like common sense rule the way, but you know, you need to have a variety of tool brushes, but you don't have to have, you know, hundreds of dollars of product. Um, I find that a majority of the time, these chemicals will be sufficient for an interior and, you know, knock it out, you're done. So anyways, I hope that that helps and maybe you learned something new. If not, you know, thanks for watching anyways. Be sure to click the subscribe button to just stay tuned to any new videos that I come out with. As I do details, I'm just going to try to include some tips and tricks that have, you know, that I've learned along the way or that worked. Or maybe even if I have a fail, I'll share with you what not to do. So anyways, have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.